Hi folks, it's Anne from Revelry Artistry again. Um, hope you're all okay, hope you're well. Um, hope those in the UK are enjoying, enjoying the hot weather and those of you in the rest of the world are enjoying whatever weather you have. Um, I'm going to go for another bowl. You know I can't resist it after my success with the green one yesterday. I just love these bowls. No idea really what to do with them, but I just love them. Um, I suppose if anybody's interested, I'm happy to sell. Um, they're all one-offs, no repeats. Um, but anyway, um, thank you for those who've subscribed. Um, you make my heart warm that you've bothered to watch and like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I don't know what else to say, really. Um, so anyway, we're going to go for another bowl. Um, for those of you who haven't seen my previous one, I must just show you. Can you see that? Can you see the sparkle? Isn't that the most beautiful thing? <laughs> see, I could talk about it forever. <laughs> You've just shut me up. So yeah, hey, that's enough. Um, right, so instead of using alcohol inks, I'm going to use mica powders. And this is going to be a black and white. This are, um, these ones are really good because they come in big quantities and you do use a lot of black and white. And it's by WTR CSV, whatever that is. Um, but anyway, yeah, it does the job. And then I've got an unknown Chinese pink and gold. That's a very rich gold because I'm not going to use a lot of it. Um, so, um, when I say I'm not going to use a lot of it, I've put out 50 mils of resin in each of these. I've got another 100 mils left in my cup. Right, um, so altogether 300 millilitres of my favourite Vista One. Um, the weather's not ideal really for um, um, moulding and doing things really because it sets so quickly in this weather. But I'm hoping that I will um, succeed. Um, yesterday succeeded and it was hotter yesterday than it's going to be today so I'm happy with that. Um, so off we go. So let's put some, I haven't got my gloves on I have to confess look at me no gloves naughty naughty but it's just too hot. I'm only going to put them on for the last bit. So let's put some black. So I'm going to use a good dollop. So black in that one. Close the lid down before you knock it over. And some white. It's a pearly white this, so I'll put a bit two of those. Actually, I think I'll put a bit of Put a bit more in that one because I, the gold is going to be running through it, if you know what I mean. Am I trying to be too clever again? <laughs> Not tried this before. Oops. Lovely pearlescent pink. I hope it doesn't get up very much. I haven't used this one before, I don't think. I think they're roughly I've used um, the same amount of everything in there in the um of the colours tap it always tap these part drops first so that any powder falls falls down away from the cap otherwise you get a puff of um hmm, very dark isn't it never mind let's go with that put a little bit more right okay they're all sealed up again let's do the gold first I'm using my silicon cups this time. Um, easy to get the residue out. Try and be a little bit eco-friendly. Um, God bless cellophane as well because that came out of my other mould so easily. It was uh, it took a, you know it took the strain, the worry out of it. So that's what I'm going to go with. And I have to say, my previous um, video I was ecstatic to have found Shirley Lindley, uh, Sharon Lindley um, who is based in the UK and does amazing resin bowls have a look and I was just ecstatic because she's in the UK and then I looked at another of her videos later later on in the evening and she's gone to Australia <laughs> why do all the greats end up in Australia eh what's going on um, anyway so Hope you're having a lovely time, Sharon. I wish you were in the, in the UK. Um, anyway, that aside, um, I'm sure there's other great ones in the UK. I've just got to find them. I found a really good um, German lady. Uh, oh, look, 
I've mixed that with a emery board. <laughs> oh, whatever next. Oh dear, oh lord. Um, it's a bit bendy, Wendy. Let's just scrape that off because that's not going to be very good. That's it for the bin. Let's get another stick. I was wondering where that emery board had gone as well. <laughs> it got in with the sticks. <laughs> Well, that's quite a, it's not a heavy white, is it? It's rather nice, pearly white. Your pearly whites. Um, yeah, German lady, Sandra, I can't write, I can't, I can't pronounce the surname. Um, again, uh, she did some lovely blooms. So, uh, oh, there's so many amazing artists out there. And it's just one big learning fest, isn't it, when you get on YouTube. Oh, I've got to do my daughter's wedding cake. Um, shortly and uh, I need to study how to fix it together and good old YouTube will come to my rescue. I know it will. Now the black which is a real a real black black it's you know it's um totally opaque. Now as I said before one uh, Vista one to one is like a medium viscosity it doesn't hold on to the bubbles I never really have any problems with them at all um, it doesn't smell at all. Not that I've got a lot of smell, sense of smell, because after COVID, right at the beginning, and then long COVID, um, it seems to have killed my sense of smell. Um, it's gradually coming back though. Two years on, I'm, it's gradually coming back, and the taste is gradually coming back. However, it's not consistent, and I can never smell and taste on the same day. <laughs> and things I can taste don't necessarily taste the same as they did before I had COVID. <laughs> anyway, that's another story. Um, I'm done with COVID anyway. Who wants to know about that? Well, it's a bluey pink, this one. I didn't know that, but that's still lovely. Isn't that lovely? Lovely colour. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm feeling I should probably have done a bit more white and less black, but never mind. We're going to go with this, and it's going to be very random. This I'm just going to spread the colours, um, plop them down, try and make it a bit arty farty, if you know what I mean. Right, okay, we've got our colours. Got quite a lot of bubbles in them, never mind. What should we go for first? Let's move them out of the way first. I'm going to put the black first. And I'm going to shush it around. I'm not waiting for it to thicken up at all today because I think the setting time is so fragile with this weather. You, you know, resin's a funny beast. You know, it'll either... It, it's got so many variables. I, it's no point me saying it took this long to do this and this long to do this and then I waited this amount of time. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't work like that. It, it'll do, you know... The, Everything depends on the brand of resin, the the, um, the um, weather, the um, working time. I mean, it's just it's just so variable. So I'm not going to bother trying to give you time scales because I think it's a bit pointless. But that's just my opinion. You can ignore me completely if timings work for you and I think that if you stick with one brand of resin you do get to know your resin and you from that you do learn to, your timings but your timings don't necessarily apply to anybody else's resin and their weather and their um, projects and what have you so to go with them um, I'll put some pink down now It'll be interesting to see how they react together. Oops, I put it out of shape already. Am. Sort of feels a bit watery <laughs> because it's probably because it's going to wanting to flash cure really quickly. So let's get to it. Let's another white. 
Looks like a bit of a mishmash, doesn't it? I'll try and cover up some holes now. This is actually deliberate now where I'm going. You can see it's not moving very much. It goes to show how uh, close to setting it is, and so quickly. Now, the gold, I'm not necessarily going to put much of this on actually. I want to, actually, I'm just going to give it a quick flame burst because it is incredibly bubbly, which is unusual for this resin. I'm going to keep an eye on it, I think. And that'll do for now. Okay, let's uh, do some loop-the-loops. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that where it is for now and I'm going to I am going to do some jiggery pokery I think so That is quite nice. Red wipes. I think that's enough gold, definitely, because it is very strong, that gold. Right, now I've done that. This is actually going to end up quite a big bowl, isn't it? This, uh... I'm just going to see if I can move that back. I'm going to put some plain around the edge. Actually, just a bit more slack, I think. This is going to be bigger than the other one. Oops, keep knocking things over. Right, and we'll put some plain round the edges. And I put very thin. outside <laughs> crazy crazy and now this is you've guessed it for my gems my little gems I'm just going to put on the clear I 
I've ordered some more from Amazon, but, but weirdly, I don't know what's going on there, but their next day delivery, you know, the prime next day delivery, suddenly been, I ordered them yesterday and it said next day delivery, free next day delivery, um, Wednesday. <laughs> oh, what? That doesn't make sense. What's going on with Amazon? I think I've got enough. I'm going to put them. I'm just going to. Danger of going overboard here. better to do it like that than to try and sprinkle it on because you're never going to get them in the right place are you well, let's face it where i'm scraping it back i may get some wispy bits of uh, resin that i can just easily snap off Escaped. Let's see if I can get them out. Maybe it's not really worth the effort. Any more runaways? Run away, run away. Alright, let's pop some there. I think that's safe, it's not going to go any further. God bless Julie's um, silicone strip. Hmm, seems like it's running this way, so what does that mean? That this is not level. Okay, let's uh, see if we can find some extra stick under there. Where's my level? It's level that way. It's level that way. You can see it's hardly moving back. Right, got something under there. Right, uh, let's give it a little gas. I'm not overly happy with that 
pattern of mine. It's just rubbish. Right. What can I do to make it better? Probably messing it up again. Just want to give it some structure. <laughs> Not very good with my colours, am I? Never mind. Who knows, it could come out beautiful, couldn't it, eh? I think I need to leave it alone now. Walk away. It's my choice, colour choices are not good. I'm not very good at it at all. I need to do something about that. I'm not quite sure what, but. Um, yeah, but definitely do something about it. Anyway, let's leave it and uh, see what happens. I'm going to hang around here a little while just to degas because it, it was incredibly um, bubbly for some reason. But again, I think it's um, the heat. Anyway, we shall see, shall we not? Um, yeah, I'll see you very soon. Hi, folks. Well, this looks like a bit of a bit of a splodgy mess but I think it's going to look okay because I'm going to have this bit as sort of a slightly higher than this bit so I think that'll balance it um yeah I might have to do some trimming with this one as well so let's just take my it's like a dam that stops the flowing of the <laughs> well, I don't know if this is going to be high enough so I'll put my center about here yeah it will be okay let's get this up <laughs> very interesting looking want to lump it over whoops now cut it sort of more or less the same so if I put where's my centre oops there jar is there. Let's go. Yeah, go there. Okay, so we've got more to the right than, or my right than the left. Okay, so flat bottom there, that's good. So I want to put a couple of nice pleats that side. And then the back, I want to create More. Let's see if I can find to prop this with. I want three pleats on the back. Two. Hmm. It's going to be tricky. Three. One, two. Oops, hang on that. <laughs> it's always a bit of a mess, this bit, isn't it, eh? Still loving my cellophane. Um, well, that's okay. Trouble is, though it falls naturally, is where it wants to go, and I'm making it do something it doesn't want to do. So that's. Which is the 
Oh, that's right. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I had a panic then, thinking that I'd put it the wrong way up. No, the, the resin is up. Let's get it on the thing. Right. Come on, you. Come on, baby. You can do this. Let's just pucker up for mummy. Come on. Two. Three. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> I knocked you way off skin. Off um, to the left. That's the I've knocked. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Um, it's fold, yeah, folded back up on itself. Which is what you don't want to happen. I'm just going to cut some of this off. As I did last time. I should have done it before. Because what you don't want is it to fold up on itself like that. Or that. That has really folded up on itself. I'm going to put it there and I'm just going to try and peel it off later. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, oh, do, do, do. Yep, peel it off later. Oh, there it goes. Right, it looks like we need to go a bit higher. So, I'm going to try that. I've knocked you out of the screen again, sorry. Um, what I'll do is I'll put you on hold now until I've got this sorted. Okay, um, right, that took some fighting. Um, I've got it pretty much how I want it. I think oh dear that looks like it needs a bit of support as well just where you get um where it falls in on itself a bit the rest of it's looking okay um yeah so let's wait and see what happens in the morning <laughs> i just hope it doesn't fall over when i've when i un uh, un mold it sort of thing so let's see how it goes anyway um time will tell Hi folks, it's Anne again um, for the unmoulding. I've sort of set my camera in a different spot. And I, it's higher up and I can't see whether you can see everything, but I'm hoping. So let's go for it. Um, let's put my little light on. That always helps, doesn't it? Where is it? Hey, yep. There we go. Solid. Um, hope everyone's okay, wherever you are. Now... I didn't like these colours when I did them, but they have sort of grown on me. Um, right, this is the skeleton. <laughs> I've used every pot I could find to put this uh, up in the air. So let's just move some of this out of the way. I've got something hanging off there. Some are empty, some are not. Pile of cups. Right, I hope you can still see, even though it's lower down. Right, let's just try and get this. See where it's stuck, you know, if you remember, it's stuck. It flipped over, the cellophane flipped back and stuck itself on. It does just peel off, so it's not, a, not the end of the world. And I have got some bits that will need cutting. to be a bit of a nightmare, a bit of a nightmare. I have to cut some of it, I think. This is... Oh, we're not doing very well. Like it did the day before. 
do this. this way. Oh, oh. Do you remember the uh, green one, this one, that I did a couple of days ago? It's peeled off, no worries. There's a bit there. But yeah, no problems at all. Now I'm going to have a problem, aren't I? And I don't know why. <laughs> it's literally just coming off the edges. How very strange. I mean, the inside looks amazing. I mean, that is actually amazing, I have to say. What do you think of that? That is pretty nice. I love that. What I didn't realise was that the underneath had taken on all these lovely shades of blue and it was a bit of pink. Well, who'd have thought? And the outside is completely different. <laughs> Honestly, with resin, you have so many happy accidents. It's ridiculous. Oh, this does not want to come off. Um, I will mess about with this, taking it off or not taking it off, depending. Um, depending on how it goes and see what, what the finished article is. Anyway, I'll say goodbye for now and I will send you pics as soon as I've got them. Oh, I've got to try and turn this off now, haven't I? And it's way high, even I, who am tall, cannot reach. So anyway, speak to you soon, bye. Hi folks, right, well, I've demolded it. Um, I'm just showing you the outside. I mean, the colors are lovely, absolutely beautiful. And the gold shimmer, and the sparkle from the gems. I am loving it, absolutely loving it. Who'd have thought, eh? And I really didn't like the way the colors went, but then when you turn it over and you look at the inside, that's, to me, what blows me away. Look at that. The depth of that blue, it's like dropping into a pool and the pink has come up around the edges to add a border. And then you've got the underside of the gems at the top and it just is spectacular. And it just goes to show a, a happy accident. I mean, that wasn't how I planned it. It wasn't what I was expecting, but this is what I love about resin. It plays its own game and gives you something that you really weren't expecting. Oop. Sorry, my staging isn't very good, is it? <laughs> But I don't care. I'm just loving this bowl. It almost, you know, got, you can see silver in it. You can see not so much gold on the inside, but the blue. Look at that in the bottom. I mean, it's like a stormy day. Just loving it. Now, the cellophane didn't come off, so I've just trimmed it. I don't know why it's so completely stuck. Um, baffled by that, so... I have nothing further to say because <laughs> um, the first one came off beautifully. Um, so, yeah, there we go. We are done with that one. Um, of course, you know, I just want to keep going on and making more and more. Um, let's call this a series. This is the, uh, uh, what should we call it? The Sundry Night with a New Dawn. The Sundry Night being down in the centre and the New Dawn on the edges. Um, I'm going to send myself to sleep in a minute. <laughs> Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you like what you've seen. Um, if you want to buy me a coffee, that would be great. Um, and thanks for listening to me waffle on and for putting up with me. Um, love to you all. Um, see you on the next one.